Hey guys, my name is Mark from Jazz Guitar Lessons. Welcome to this YouTube channel. And in this video, I just wanted to give you a little tip, a little bit of a reframe for people willing to learn the bebop language. A lot of guitarists come to me and they go, Mark, I want to play on the bebop realm. I want to play on these Parker tunes. I want to play fast eight note lines. And in this video, I want to share step one. What is step one ultimately to do that? And uh, we'll start with a little bit of an anecdote and a story for me uh, on how I came across this discovery and how the way I assign it to students, you'll see it's pretty simple, uh, but there's a there's a method to the madness. Okay, so here we go. While I was in college, I believe I was in second or third year uh, jazz guitar college, and I was studying full time. And I remember playing in class, and our uh, teacher was Charles Ellison, a great trumpet player. And I played on a blues or a song something, and some of my colleagues, my students, went, "Dude, what happened? Like your your playing is improved," and I I. I could make sense of my ideas and my solo made sense and I was playing eight notes and it's like, oh, something shifted in your playing. Did you like, what did you practice, right? So I just pulled out the Omni book. So there it is. That's the infamous book with Parker on the top and some of his most famous tunes and solos. So I pulled out that book from my bag and my class colleagues went, all oh, right, so you're learning Charlie Parker solos. I said, nah. Oh, so you're like, you're like practicing bebop scales like Charlie Parker? Nah. So what are you doing? It's like, I just learned the melodies. I looked at the whole solo. I'm like, man, no way I'm learning that. And then I learned I just, I learned the heads. And this had such a profound impact on my playing because I was learning the heads as we would say in classical music, like etudes, like studies. So when students come to me and they want to be, learn the bebop round, the bebop genre and improvise bop lines, the first thing, the first step is always for me to say, well, can you play Freight Train? That, that's a song, so it's with Kenny Burrell and John Coltrane. Fantastic record, by the way. So learn the head, and then are you able to stick around and just comp the chords in the head? Because if you can't play the melody to the head and you can't comp, there's no way you're gonna hang on to the form passing by this quickly. So that's like step one. So some of the tunes I recommend you guys check out, uh, Freight Train is great. Olio is a rhythm changes, you know, that's the one with the Sonny Rollins and Miles. That's the one, and that's a 32 bar form. Uh, uh, I got rhythm changes, so there's also a lesson which I'll post here or here, uh, learning how to comp and how to improvise on rhythm changes. Uh, and even before you start to improvise, just play that head. It's a lot of like syncopation, it's a lot of technique, and there's a bunch of things that you find out about phrasing by osmosis just by playing along to these guys. So you don't you don't need to grab the Omni, but I think they made one for guitar with tabs and whatever. You don't need to learn all the Parker solos. There's plenty of really good heads by other players like Sonny Rollins, for instance. So that's a story essentially. It's like, well, can you play the head? Yeah, okay. Can you play it in time with good phrasing, etc.? And can you comp on it? You're gonna learn more from this than actually doing Bob transcriptions from the start, from the get-go. I mean, if you're really, really advanced now, of course, it's time to transcribe and learn Parker solos and Dizzy solos, or whatever. Uh, but uh, that's that's a lesson, ultimately. Just to, back to my osmosis point, there's so much phrasing and nuance and things that you pick up from listening to this thing over and over and over and playing along with it and maybe using a slow-down software, right? You slow it down and you try to play along with it. And that's how, personally, I learned to play guitar. Not with Parker, but with like, you know, Metallica and Pat Benatar. I would just put the CD on in my little bedroom and my parents would go crazy, but I would like rewind and come back and learn it and learn it. So if you do this with bebop heads, you're gonna learn way more elements of the bebop language than if you were to work on just pure bebop scales and technique and guitar, you're actually learning it in the context of music. And then you're finding out about techniques that are required to execute. So whether it's finding, should I play the low octave, the high octave, the sliding, uh, the how, how do you alternate pick so you have accents in certain places, how do you do triplet arpeggios. Uh, let me suggest a few more heads. So Freight Train, uh, Olio for sure, Confirmation. Then uh, Billy's Bounce is pretty advanced. It's a Parker blues. It's a blues by Charlie Parker, regular type of blues. Then uh, Ornithology is good. There's another Parker blues type. It's an A flat, it's called Chi Chi. C-H-I-C-H-I, -I -I. and um, 
after you got these under your fingers, you can start to make choices. You can learn, decide to learn anthropology or other more like mid mid 60s or mid 50s, mid 60s heads like Dahoud or um, Pent Up House. That's another great Sonny Rollins one. So that's it. That's the lesson. Uh, I made a blog post about this at least 10 years ago, which is where do you start learning bebop language? Learn the, learn the head, learn the melody as an etude, make sure you execute it almost like a classical musician and the stuff that transpires into your own playing after that, it's dramatic. And it's funny how not that many students I have have done this kind of work in learning the heads. Of course, uh, I coach a really small group of people in a program I now call the Jazz Guitar Accelerator. If you're interested in getting direct feedback, uh, working on the bebop language, these heads, and getting together with a bunch of guys that are as eager as you are as le learning bop language and jazz improvisation and copying, just get in touch. There's a link in the description below to book a call with me, it's totally free of charge. We'll get together, determine what you want to work on. Uh, I can craft a custom plan for your playing and get to work. All right, so uh, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I will see you on the website and the rest of this YouTube channel for plenty more free videos. Again, it's jazzguitarlessons.net. Improve your jazz guitar playing with a real teacher. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Thank you.